honestly, I mostly listen to, like, I have this thing where I can't sleep without, like, something happening in my ear, which is bad. But I listen to, like, audiobooks, and I try to um, pick the ones that are interesting, but also, like, very slow and bland so I can fall asleep to them. So I listen to a lot of, like, science and, like, nature books. I really like this guy. Um, I've heard his name pronounced different ways, but it's, I mean, it's, it's spelled like Thor, but it's like T-H-O-R, but it's, I think it's pronounced Thor. Anyway, Thor Hansen is this guy's name, and he has a book. Did you just say Thor, Thor Hansen? Yeah, do you know who that is? Yeah, dude. Oh my God, that's. I love that guy. That's unbelievable. I do like communications for a marine science organization up here in in the Pacific Northwest, and this nonprofit that I work for funded a like uh, a recovery plan for this endangered seabird, the tufted puffin. And Thor Hansen wrote that. I went out on a boat with him out to this island with him and his kid to like take pictures. No of shit. Stuff. I totally. I met. I met him. Which book are you reading? He's got one called Feathers. Yeah. Which is all about feathers <laughs> and birds, and uh, he's got one called Seeds. Yeah. Which is all about seeds. Um, but I don't know. I just like. I really like. Uh, he's kind of perfect for me in that scenario because I like. Because I'll listen to the same book every night for like a month and I don't like I don't listen the whole way I'm trying to fall asleep but I probably know every word yeah. of like his books because I've listened to them so many like I'm up like I'll wake up in the night and that's like why I need it in my ear because then I gotta fall back asleep that's um, cool. Do you know if it's him reading his own audiobook? It's actually not and the, the narrators <laughs> the narrators are not that good to be honest but like like one day I was like I just I don't even know what the guy looks like and so I like watched him actually talking like on like Wired you know that, the technology magazine yep he's, he's like and he's got like a great voice I don't know why he doesn't narrate his own books but <laughs> I'm gonna hit him up so was he cool was he cool was it fun very cool he was very yeah. cool guy yeah, yeah it was like we went out to like Tufted Puffins are this amazing seabird that like they kind of fly like real wonky, but then they like they dive and they their their wings are evolved for like swimming basically, and they'll dive deep, 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 catch fish, and uh, they've like plummeted in population up in the Pacific Northwest, the Salish Sea, mm. which is where where I work, and uh, yeah. he went out there to help take photos and stuff. I think I shot some video of him on like a rocking boat, like that might would make you sick if you watch it, like with the island yeah. in the background. <laughs> Yeah, I, I know he, like, lives off, like, an island up there somewhere, so yeah. that makes sense. Do you guys live on the same island? So I live on Orcas Island, and he lives on San Juan Island, but they're the same mm. archipelago. They're the same, like, there's gotcha. a ferry that runs between them, and they... I love that word. It's a very good word. <laughs> really good word. Well, that's awesome. That's, that's really fun. I think I think stuff like that, it's weird. Like, when we were younger, I feel like there was, like, a thing, like... People need to be engaged in politics. People need to be knowing what's going on. People need to be in this stuff. And I, like, I've had this recent feeling in the last like year, two, three years of like, we kind of maybe need to know, pay, know a little less. Like, literally, the some of the biggest dumbasses I've ever met in my life suddenly care a lot about politics. Like, it's like kind of their whole thing now. And it's uh, like, Maybe if we dialed back a little bit and talked about birds on occasion or even some sports or yeah. like it's like for too, yeah, too no. engaged. This is like really fucked up. Yeah. Everything doesn't have to be this way. Yeah. And if you enjoyed that clip, you should check out the After the Deluge podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. Uh, we have full episodes there as well as right here on this YouTube channel. So hit the subscribe button and maybe check out whatever's being suggested to you right here. Thanks so much.